guys what's up welcome back to the channel built by Bailey's back in it we are on our way out to the nook job site the lot nothing's actually started yet but we're going out to stake our driveway our septic and our well so we can get ready for those inspections and the reason why we have to stake everything before we start any work is to show the building department that we have our setbacks correct on the property our width and location of driveway is correct our septic location is in the right place based on setbacks to the building envelope which means we're going to have to stake the building envelope at least roughly at this point and then we're gonna have to mark everything else coming up to it now this driveway is extremely long we're looking at a very big lot and we don't want to set this thing right on the road actually Evan has located a perfect pretty flat building site on the property and it's up over a rock formation which is gonna be really cool so we have a long drive to put in and a lot of earthwork in the first 50 to 100 yards where we have to actually cut in quite a bit because there's a steep um, rise there's steep elevation off the road into the lot itself so a lot of earthwork up front then gradually it gets a lot easier as we get to the back but today's today's objective is to go out and stake the property for driveway for our septic distribution area for our well and for our building envelope um, that way like I said the building department can come out and approve our location so we can start moving some rocks and dirt around um, that's about it. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's pretty simple. We're going to go out and start with locating the pins because we had a pin survey and we go out and mark those pins so we know where the property lines are and then we start just basically hammering stakes into the ground. All right, first things first, got to find your property lines. Now I've done some other lot location videos. You can go back and check those out. But out here today, I'm going to show you first steps in starting a construction project and if you don't have access to the building site what do you have to do first you have to build a driveway so in this county we actually are required to do driveway and septic together for permitting so that's been submitted we have our permits for driveway and septic now we have to go locate them per our site plan that we submitted to the building department and that is going to bring us back to finding the pins from our survey that locate our property lines okay so those are actual pins that are set in the ground by a surveyor okay so we have a boundary survey all right technically this is a pin survey because it's got the four corners marked and then we're going to take that and shoot our lot lines which will give us our boundary locates so we can actually start marking our driveway we can run the driveway all the way up to the property line but there's certain other things that we can't run all the way up to property lines which is why we need to locate those for our own uh, as far as just understanding where we're going to be so feasibility wise we got to make sure that we're on the right spot okay so we found the property line i have the back pin set sorry all the back pin we found as well now you can notice even though we're in the mountains right now uh, it's been a dry winter up here end of april and there's no snow on the ground which makes it easy for me to actually locate so what we've actually done so far is we've we've run our property boundary line from the first pin shot to our next point roughly and we're, we're this, is, this is more of a rough scenario right now but we're marking with our marking paint our line and then intermittently i'm going to set stakes and i'm going to write on here pl pl sorry it's really windy pl is property line okay for this driveway we have to have a minimum 16 feet wide which is fine because we're going to make ours bigger than that but i need to know the one side of the boundary so i can pull a number off of that boundary line back over to at least a 16 foot we're going to go 18 feet for most of this driveway as we get up towards the property which as you can see is way up there where evan is 
behind that rock outcropping. So it's gonna come up and around the rock outcropping to the back end of the property itself. We're gonna run it 18 feet until we get there and then we have a bigger turnaround area so we can have people pull in and back out. I'm coming back down and I'm staking an 18 foot wide area that the building department can see so they can come in and do their inspection and say, yes, you're good to build the driveway as staked here. As like I said, as we get up there further up, we're gonna be wider than 18 feet, but now I'm gonna pull up the property line 18 feet and I'm gonna run those stakes all the way up on the inside. All the stakes on this side have already been marked all the way up past the building envelope. So I know where my property line is. And again, I'm gonna pull 18 feet off of that, mark them all the way back down. And as you can see, we're gonna get into here. We got some earth moving to do. This is gonna to have to be cut because it's running all the way out to the truck. We're gonna walk up here to the property building envelope. I'm gonna grab some more stakes and finish staking that. And then come all the way back down, pull that number off the property line stakes. And then we'll have our driveway staked and ready to go for inspection. We also now have our septic system staked out and our well marked as far as that's going to go as well. All of that has to be ready before we call in for these inspections. So then we can proceed with starting to dig and move dirt around, including rocks in this case. Um, so all that's been marked now. All right, look at that view behind me. Pretty awesome. So I'm standing at the front end of where our building envelope is gonna be in this rock outcropping. You now look back out as I walk back towards the building. This is gonna be in front of the nook. And we've now staked out building envelope and the potential patio we're putting in. I say potential only because we may change dimensions and depth. All right, so I'm gonna save your ears for the rest of this. The audio literally became worthless at that point because of how much wind was actually picking up. I don't have a wireless mic at this video site, so moving on. I've got our building envelope located with stake and with our uh, locating boundary twine here and what I'm what I'm actually doing is marking our, our rough building envelope so we can back everything out of here to determine the uh, location of our septic system and then the rest of our driveway which actually runs up and behind the property itself it's like I said earlier a very long driveway um, and it, it's gonna have to be marked up so we can get our inspections done and start actually moving dirt around and get the driveway in um, I'm describing here basically how we're, we're basically back all those numbers out as we've located our building site, we've located our property lines, and then we're coming back down the slope here with our stakes marking our back of our property boundary um, building envelope, and then we're marking the rest of our driveways that turns in, like I said, behind the structure itself. And we have all the, bo the boundary of the property lines marked in orange with our marking paint and the rest of it is going to be detailed with um, our stakes and then our, you know we mark on those stakes we literally have those labeled so the inspections can happen with ease from here we actually go back up the hill some more about 220 feet to our septic location and then on the other side is our well about 15 feet from the property we're making everything as easy as possible that is simply for accessibility of our utilities septic water from the well and then all the utilities running up from the driveway into our crawl space of our new property itself all right guys that is it for this video thanks for tuning in uh stay tuned if you haven't just subscribed yet make sure you go do that and ding the bell for notifications because then you can get updated on the nook as we proceed next step is going to be bringing in the earth movers and starting to dig out for our driveway we're going to start running our trenches for our utilities and we're going to start the septic system as well. So stay tuned for all of those videos as they come out. Drop a like on the way out if we helped you guys out in any way with this video. And until next time, guys, keep building.